In this particular video, I'll be showing you how easy it is to create a challenge for your students using Metaverse. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up the challenge. So why are students doing this particular experience? What is the outcome? I've gone ahead and created the first two scenes. So this one says, archaeologists have disturbed the tomb of King Tut's successor, Pharaoh I. A curse was inscribed on the door leading into the tomb. When a student taps on the button, they'll be transitioned to the second scene, which says the only way to stop the curse is to unlock a safe that has a remedy potion inside. I've gone ahead and called this experience Curse of the Pharaoh. And next, I need to add a new scene. So I'll say, crack the code to the safe, link our scenes together, and add my buttons. So I'll have an exit button, clues button, and a crack the code button. Now the particular code that students are looking for in this example is Rosetta Stone. And the first thing I'm going to do is add my clues. So let me first end the experience on X. And I'll go to add new character scene. And I'll place this right here. And the first clue I'm going to give them is the Egyptian flag and I'll add an action. The second clue I'm going to give them is the Greek flag because the Rosetta Stone was inscribed in Egyptian and Greek. And the third clue I'm going to give will be an image of a stone. Now these images were already in the Metaverse database but if I wanted to add my own all I'd have to do is click new and I could upload an image, give it a name, and use it in my experience. Now I need to link all of these together so I'll click back to clues under transition control, transition to scene, scene 4, and then on the scene with the stone we'll transition back to the options page. Now I need to create a scene where students can type in the response and crack the code. They can type in the password. So I'll go to add new, text input scene, and I'll move that into view, and I'll go back to crack the code. And I'll say again, Crack the code by entering the password. And I'll change this image back to my safe, so I'll search for safe. There we go. And now I need to click where it says type a response. So I'll go to add new, and I'll be using a string block, and this string block will make text to lowercase. So if a student were to type Rosetta Stone with a capital R and a capital S, it would convert it to lowercase. Transition to block, lowercase text, and then I'll add new, and I'll be adding a response contains. What this block will do is look for a particular phrase in a string of text. So I'll be using Rosetta Stone, and on lowercase text, I will transition to block, response contains. Now I need to add my success scene and my failure scene. So if a student gets it right, they'll be transitioned to the success scene, and if they get it wrong, they'll be transitioned to the failure scene and they'll be able to try again. So I go to add new, back to scenes, I'll be adding two character scenes. The first will be the incorrect, so let's search for a warning, and we'll use this, and I'll say that's not it. Add action, try again. And I'll go back to my response contains, and if on response does not contain, I'll transition to the incorrect scene. Now I need to add my correct scene, so I'll say that's it. Great job. And I'll change my character back to the pharaoh. And add an action. 
go back to response contains and on response contains so if they do correctly write Rosetta Stone they will be transitioned to the correct scene. Now what I want to do next is add a photo wall so to do that I will go to add new and we'll be using a camera scene Now what this will do is create a photo wall of all the people that have answered this particular challenge correctly. So I'll click on my photo and on capture settings we'll be using front facing camera and in this case we'll be only using photo. So we'll go to photo only. Next we need to generate our photo wall so we'll go to add new and we will be going to camera, photo wall, Now, if I click on this block, you can see on the right-hand side, it explains that photo walls are made on photos.metaverseapp.io. If I click on that, it'll take me to this web page where I can configure my photo wall. So I'll give it a name. The Curse of the Pharaoh. And I'll need to open up this web page in a new tab. And this is the photo wall where my images will be displayed. I'll go back to the previous tab and copy this ID. And then go back to my experience. On the photo wall block for photo wall ID, I'll paste in the ID. And now when a user takes a photo, it'll be uploaded to that ID and will be displayed on this web page. Now I'm going to go to add new and I will be giving an item and in this case it'll be the potion from the beginning so it said if the only way to fix the curse is to receive a potion so I'll go back to photo wall transition to block select item I can upload any photo that I'd like or I can use one that has already been uploaded to metaverse in this case I'll use this potion so a user will get this potion deposited into their inventory, add new, and this will be my final scene. And this will say, thanks for playing, add action, exit. Now I need to add a button that will link to the photo wall, so I'll say view winners, and then I'll add the web view scene, go to my photo wall, copy the URL, paste the URL, and then link everything together. And then from my photo wall scene, transition back to scene 12 so that students or teachers can end the experience on scene. Now let's see what this looks like in Metaverse. Now here's my pharaoh. Archaeologists have disturbed the tomb of King Tut's successor, Pharaoh I. A curse was inscribed on the door leading into the tomb. Next. The only way to stop the curse is to unlock a safe that has a remedy potion inside. Crack the code to the safe. So I can exit clues or crack the code. I'll go to clues. And here's my Egyptian flag. Greek flag and the stone. It says crack the code to the safe. I'll go back to crack the code. And I'll say Rosetta Stone. And take a selfie. Get the potion. And now I'll view winners. And here's my photo wall with the selfie that I just took. And I'll exit the experience.